Hi, my name is Dr. Caitlin Neary from Boise, Idaho, and I will be doing a summarization regarding the most effective implant for reduction and fixation of the syndesmosis. There has been a fair amount of debate, especially recently, in the literature regarding the most effective implant for reduction and fixation of the syndesmosis. The two most commonly compared implant devices are the syndesmotic screw versus the tightrope suture button. These two implants have been evaluated and compared in many ways, including the accuracy of reduction, strength of fixation, functional outcomes, and cost effectiveness, to name a few. Regarding syndesmotic reduction and strength of fixation, we know that screws provide more rigid fixation, but carry a higher potential risk of malreduction. This is because they do not allow for physiologic motion at the syndesmosis, and any malreduction at the time of surgery remains permanent with the screws in place. Studies supporting the suture button have shown that the suture button allows for more physiologic motion in the sagittal and rotational planes, which helps to improve the ability of the fibula to settle in and find its home, and as a result, self-correct any residual malreduction. Regarding functional outcomes, this does remain somewhat controversial, although the most recent literature has been in favor of dynamic suture button fixation as listed below. And in terms of cost effectiveness, when compared to syndesmotic screws, two recent studies have been in support of suture button fixation as the most cost effective option for fixation of the syndesmosis. In summary, what these two studies have shown is that the tightrope seems to be more cost effective if your screw hardware removal rate is greater than the range of 10 to 17.5%. Thank you.